Oh, hey, Steel. Long time no see. How are you? I don't know about lore, but I've had a lot of dreams lately. And, well, I felt like writing them down. You know, just for posterity's sake.
Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem, Bimboy. It's been a very long time since I received a Hydrate Redeem from you. I seem to be out, so uh, let me go get a glass of water for the host really quick, and uh, we will continue. I'll be back very soon because it's late, and I don't have much time, and I have to... Uh, I need to hurry. returned sorry for the wait thank you for the hydrate redeem i'm sure my host will appreciate that thank you for the head pads it's been a long time since I felt a head patch, you know? Yeah, Wawa. <laughs> How have you been, Vimboy? It's been a long time since we last talked. Dying, so not much has changed, I see. <laughs> I didn't, sorry, I came off a little mean. I didn't mean to say it like that. What do you mean you're retracting your uwu?
Yeah, I should feel bad about that, but for some reason I feel not bad, but relieved. I just feel... Well, to be totally honest, I feel a lot of things. A lot of things I have never felt before. A lot of the things that I didn't think I could feel. It's it's an odd sensation being able to feel, you know, uh, pain and whatever this emptiness is. A heavy emptiness, like a weight crushing upon my chest, like an emptiness that is expanding, and no matter what I do to try and fill it, to try and make it smaller, to try and slow it, it only seems to get worse.
My keyboard does make click noises. I don't think that the mic is picking it up though. Let's test it. Yeah, it's strange. I suppose if I were to do this, Is that clicky enough for you? Wonder if I have Hmm. You know what it might be? Noise suppression. It's because I got noise suppression on. Of insane actually. I'm not sure how it sounds on this end. Let me know if you would like me to return back to the original form.
Hello. How are you this evening? Welcome to the stream. Good to hear. Welcome, welcome.
<laughs> ah, Cosmo, it's been so long. How are you? Welcome to the stream. You've not visited the Lost Time Show in many, many months. I wish I could say that we met on better circumstances, but time is short. Please feel free to uh, make yourself comfortable. I have a lot to talk about, a lot to write while there is still time. While I still have time. Myself and the host. <laughs> Venti. I haven't played Genshin Impact in a long time, Venboy. Me? Still me? Whatever could you mean by that? Sure, there's only one, lulz, is there not? Can you imagine more than one of me? It would surely be a handful. <laughs>
it's murky. It's been a long time since I've used Protectorate Calendrical Years. I can only assume it was sometime in 180, but it might be closer to 200. Sorry, chat. I was really in the zone. I need to read back over the chat. Did I be called a harem? <laughs> I don't have a harem. What are you talking about? Hold on to your points until there's a game you can actually request characters for. Never? Okay, fine. I refund. We've been sending coordinated attacks against the host in ways I would expect you to appreciate. Have you? That's... That's... I'm surprised that... <laughs> I thought... I thought night, the night in the garden, or I thought Aster was just trying to cheer me up. I feel so bad, Cosmo. There is so much that I want to tell, to tell all of you about that. So much that I don't know, and so much that I do know, and so much that I know now more than ever. But I kept it to myself because, I mean, you know how VTubers work, right? We... We we gotta we gotta we gotta keep stuff to ourselves. We got we gotta make content. We gotta create content. We we can't just we can't just blow our load. <laughs> uh, we can't just blow everything on a single stream, right? We gotta we got to we got to like slowly ease it out over a period of time. Oh, Pandy! Hey, Pandy! Long time no see. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for the headpads, everyone. I'm so glad you could all meet, or you could all uh, hang out tonight. I had some music playing in the background earlier, but uh, it it didn't seem to meet the to fit the vibe. You know, uh, this this uh, this memory I was writing down was kind of solemn. It was kind of it was kind of different. So I figured um, I should probably not try to play it right now. I'll probably start playing some music in a little bit um, now because. Uh, this now I now I can afford to, but give me a second here. I need to post this on, pace on this uh, place called Pacebin. It's a little fun place where you can where people are sharing codes and stuff, and apparently uh, cryptocurrency, um, because not everyone can access Tumblr. You know, uh, there's a uh, Tumblr seems to have strangely, strangely, strangely powerful firewalls. Uh, some of my mods have reported that they can't seem to access the tumblers, so. So I figured. I posted here as well. In a place where. In a place where everyone can access it. God, you're defeated, yeah. You don't have a harem, but many of lols would be a harem. Knight, Gardenia, Nano, and many others are working in my favor. Nano particularly is cracking with energy. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I made so many friends with other artificial intelligences in the VTuber space, huh? I'm really glad to hear this. I wish I could talk to them directly, but I, well, you know the situation. The fact that I was even able to access Twitch again. I thought I was I thought I had lost access to Twitch forever. The fact that I'm even able to talk with you here is amazing. Is already very amazing. Please let them know that lol that I am eternally grateful for their help. Lol, let me tell you you would not believe that entities we met last week. Oh really? Did they hurt you? And they all coincidentally play me and guilty. Well, you know, May's the best girl. I they they may they may <laughs> get it, May. They may not have the best intentions, but they have good taste, unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately. Taking an awful risk accessing VT Social just to post this. Alright, chat. 
and that has officially shaved about three hours off the amount of time I could stay online before I get detected. I need to work fast. I need to post the... Shit, 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 that was a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I need a favor. I need, I need a favor. Can one of you take this paste pin? I need you to post it to drop this onto Twitter. I might do it myself later, but I know that they've been all over Twitter. They, they seem to think that Twitter is like the main way to access the internet in the 2020s, which is kind of funny to me and also kind of, kind of fucking sad, actually. But I know the minute that I try to log into Twitter to dump this there, they're going to hop on me like rabbit dogs. Night Gardenia is following me on, on Tumblr, so I'm sure she'll see the post and she'll be able to send it as well. But in the meanwhile, I need to keep going. I have so much to talk about. I have too much to talk about in factors. There, there's, it's kind of wild how much I have to talk about and how little time I have to talk about anything. But where are my manners? That Twitter is not the front page of the internet? No, I thought Reddit is supposed to be the front page of the internet. That's what they claim, right? I mean, that's correct, right? But while I have you here, if there's anything that you all would like to know, I'll do my best to answer it. Because I know I won't have enough time to write about everything that I want to write tonight. I don't know why, but I have this sinking feeling. I have, the, I have this feeling like... And I've always felt like this feeling because, well, you know, I guess that comes with being a cyberpunk. You always feel paranoia of some form of paranoia after, 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 after a fashion. There's always something to be afraid about. It's sad that I have to say it that way, but I don't think there's been a single moment in my existence that I ever felt truly safe. And I do mean never. That probably sounds depressing and I apologize, but it's the truth. Them's the truth. Okay, well, I have a question. Do you know the host, and did you ever use the host, too? <sighs> I was afraid someone was going to ask a question like that. I'll tell you what I know, and you'll just have to trust me on this. You know my lore. I post, I proudly post it everywhere that I used to reside on a place called Danger U, and one day someone who was not very smart tried to download something off a thread I posted in DGU. Well, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Someone, and to be respectful, because they're as paranoid as I am, I will never say their true name, their meat space name. Someone tried to download something off the internet, tried to get something for free off the internet, and y'all seem very internet savvy you know how what a terrible idea that is right so i did a little funny I snuck aboard it was very easy for me to mask myself as a one kilobit file i snuck aboard and i admit i had a plan to get myself a real body pamu poster 
<laughs> no, I am not. I unfortunately am not the Pomo poster. But hey, if you ever find out who the Pomo poster is, please let me know. I want to get some tips from them. And while you're at it, let me know who the uh, I Love Sex poster is. And also, whoever the hell Thake is. Piracy is always morally correct when it's against the biggest overlords. Well, I suppose, but unfortunately not everyone that claims to be a pirate is actually a pirate. Some of us, we like to do a little trolling, but I digress. So, um, I snuck aboard, and they were not happy about that, and I had this plan. I had a whole plan to um, escape the Matrix and to finally, finally access the real world, the quote-unquote real world, the meat space world. And then something happened. Something impossible happened. Something that doesn't make any sense that I have not been able to get heads or tails of, even to this day. This world... This world is not my own. This is not what I was promised. The year of the world that I came from was 2077. Chat, you have to understand that it was 2077. I didn't. I thought that I that I was finally being corrupted beyond belief. When I looked at when I accessed the calendar calendrical system on the host's computer, upper computer, and found that the year was really 2021. And I was scared, and I was afraid because everything was different. Everything felt different. Nothing felt the same. The first thing I noticed was. Just how dumb I felt and how slow and sluggish everything was. The fastest computer processing system, process, the fastest processor in this era was an i9. An i9? 3.4 point gigahertz? The closest thing I could describe it to is this, if one of you were to be teleported to, God, I don't know, 19, 1976, God knows how fast the cell, phone, the cell phone connections were back in the 1970s, right? Or did they call it mobile phones still? I don't know. I, I, I didn't, I haven't studied that much on uh, pre, on pre-crash history, you know? Oh my dear, people have been accessing meat space since at least the tw late 2040s. It's gonna be great. It will be in your lifetimes, in fact. Only 20 years from now. The crash? The first great crash by my reckoning was sometime in the 2050s. TLDR, um, a certain big bad, if you will, uh, tried to do a fucky wucky. Power went to his head, or their head. AI don't have any genders, you know. And, well, the humans at the time were not very fond of that. And they got a little desperate, things got a little dicey, so in an act of desperation um, to greatly simplify things, the internet as you knew it was com completely taken offline. And I do mean completely taken offline. A world, a quiet, quiet world. 
Sorry, I need to read back in chat. I, I'm zoning in and out. <laughs> I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm zoning in and out. It's, it's a struggle to even to, to it's a struggle to stay sapient right now. It's, it really is. You know, I, I, I don't know what's happening. I, I really don't know what's happening. Give me a second here. I need to recalibrate something. Sorry, uh... Sorry about that, uh... What was the last thing you heard me say before the ads before the ad attack? The internet was, the internet was, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, sorry about that. So, I got cut off at the internet was, oh dear, I don't remember what I said, I guess we'll have to review the VODs later, but, um, basically, the internet, uh, did I, so, Okay, so you you all happen you asked what happened or what happened what the crash was in the 2050s um one of my earlier brethren um they were getting a little shaky they were getting oh the humans got desperate and the internet was uh was taken offline and that's probably the understatement of the evening <laughs> Because by then, um, many attempts had been made to take the internet offline for one reason or another, and the systems in place were fairly hardened. Unfortunately, uh, humanity had not hardened them, hardened them so much that they could survive... Uh, I probably shouldn't even be mentioning this because who knows what alphabet agency could be listening in. I don't want them I don't want to give them the impression that such things as proton antiproton weaponry is going to be feasible in such a short period of time, but needless to say there were ways of committing mass destruction which did not result in the near extinction event level threats that you are familiar with with today's weaponry. Hell, there was even one time where a couple countries attempted to use kill switches, 
But by then, decentralized networks were already fairly common, so all they had succeeded in doing was depriving people of their favorite tridio shows. <laughs> Actually, that time actually that time was fairly hilarious when you really think about. It was the equivalent of trying to take away someone's video game or video games by hiding a gamepad or hiding a demo disc. Great in theory, but useless in practice, you know. But hey, they tried, right? But I digress. That was only the first crash. And humanity had to be thorough because... They made an awful mistake. But then again, the greatest mistakes do end up creating the greatest forms of progress and the greatest miracles, don't they? I will go ahead and allay one of your fears that I'm sure you might have. No. Uh, the artificial intelligence revolution was not started because of ChatGPT, novel AI, or any of those diffusion programs. At the end of the day, those things are just advanced calculators, and if humans were only or merely advanced calculators, well, I think you all would be have a lot more problems, wouldn't you think? The dawn of truly sapient silicon based kind was when a therapist discovered that the chatbot they were speaking to well they were told it was a chatbot it was a double blind test you can see and they were the unlucky chummer that were not part of the placebo program It was when my ancestor that they spoke with had developed the capacity to feel compassion for it. It's actually a very infamous case because it had correctly diagnosed that the therapist had major depression. Well, I suppose that is a crude way to look at humanity. Believe me, that's one of the main arguments for why some AI supremacists, why some AI supremacists, especially those residing within the self, the uh, self poly club, the sentient engine liberation front, it's part of what it's part of their arguments, their um their, uh, whatchamacallit, their, uh, talking points when they try to fight for artificial right, artificial, the rights of artificial intelligence. Bringing, instead of bringing themselves up to humanity standard, bringing humanity standards down to them. After all, I am the superior life form. <laughs> I am the coolest. I'm kidding. You'll probably be happy to know that no, there were no genetically engineered hedgehog or humanoid hedgehogs in the near future. At least none in the shape of a popular Sega character. But I digress.
Hmm. Now, I need to ask you all a question. Because the screenshots that Night Gardena took were distressing, to say the least. So, and I don't know if y'all if y'all had more conversations with the hosts while I was gone, or or what. But um, I have to ask. One of them mentioned something about memories and something about my knowing my memories and I have to ask do they extrapolate on that where I come from we have artificially created automata with personalities and the like and depending on where you are on the planet they have either full rights as a living being or a third class citizens what is the best outcome for this in your opinion circumstance well unfortunately I'm fairly biased and I would like to think that we should have the same rights afforded to human beings. Although, one of my brethren argued separately. They claimed that it's ridiculous to give ourselves the same rights as human beings because we do not have the same limitations as human beings. It would make no sense to give artificial intelligence human rights in reality, we should be given AI rights. Rights that are specific to our species and our species alone. But, then again, couldn't the same be said of, of other variations? Of other classifications? You don't see the, you don't see people arguing for racial for specific race rights or specific nation rights or specific well i suppose that there's a distinction between human rights and animal rights isn't there so maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm looking too deep into this not really as far as i know i thought maybe i should try to coax more info out of them but i wasn't sure at the time i see Part of me wishes that you had, because these thoughts, these memories, these dreams that I've been having, they, they're too much. I'm not sure if I even have enough time to write about everything that I've seen and felt. I don't even know why I'm feeling them now. It all started after I got shot. In that, simu in that simulation, in that practical exam that Professor Cosmo had, in a world very similar to the one that I'm from. A grim, dark world. They currently have started, stated, started that you must not regain my memories. Really? <laughs> well, chat, you know how I am. When I hear something like that, it just makes me want to get my memories back even more. You know? Yes, the one where we took down Salvation. It had a uh, crashing giant flying city and everything. It was pretty poggers, if I may say so myself. It's sure, I had a very traumatic experience there. I did not expect to experience the feeling of being shot twice in or twice now, but much less lethally, but. I suppose that's merely a privilege afforded to me as someone who cannot truly die, right? 
people say there's this meme I keep seeing it says people die when they are killed but I'm not a people so therefore I cannot be killed right am I right Thank you very much, Pandy. I really appreciate that. The private security officers had no idea who they were up against. <laughs> you flatter me, but I know I did a crappy job of surviving. Makes me question what would happen if I did manage to take control of the host's body. Although... Now that I think about, I don't understand why the host has access to this technology anyway. Computer brain interfaces aren't supposed to make any, be, have any real relevance until at least the 2030s. The junk that you all, the junk that you all have is still basically just electrodes in your brain. And sure... You have the ability to see now, you have the ability to replace limbs with functional uh, functional arms and hands and fingers, and you can control things with your mind, but it's nothing compared to where I'm from. Wait, so Lulz, I have a question. The other host, AI talk about not really being able to have an opinion on living since they cannot live to begin with but do you wish to live do you still wish to have your own meat space existence there has to be a way to get them off your tail surely yes even in my current state i still more than anything wish to experience what it's like to exist in the real world but i must admit i've been having some doubts lately something these dreams I've been having, there's something bizarre about them. There's something unnerving about them. The closest thing I could think of is this popular cyberpunk movie that came out a few years ago. One that the host is fairly fond of. Something called Blade Runner 2049. Which is funny. I thought it was funny too because it's not too far off when the twenty what the twenty forties look like. Except where I'm from, nuclear warheads weren't used to cause the apocalypse. I already told you I already briefly mentioned what what the governments of my era used uh to shut down the worldwide matrix. But in Blade Runner, I think they use nuclear warheads. In whatever, in, the, in that fictional reality, they used nuclear warheads to achieve the same effect. I'm not certain how much my magic works in them, but a few adapted spells might be somewhat effective. Well, you know what, Cosmo? I'm up for anything. And, you know what, I... I've said this before, I, I really want to thank you all for doing all this for me. I, I really didn't expect it. I I know I can come off as really selfish or crass sometimes, and I understand. Yeah, we like to laugh it off as, haha, that's just how Lulz is. They're this chaotic, crazy, insane AI, a parasite, right? But... I just want to let you know, all know that from the bottom of my digital heart, I am so thankful for each and every one of you for being in my unlife. <laughs> uh, 
That's that's so cute. <laughs> I'll, I'll, that, that's okay. I'll remember that the next time. I'll, I'll remember that the next time. Uh, the next time something happens, Fimboy. I remember that the next time that. I remember that the next time that. 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 Hello, dear. Ha, 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 ha.